All right, we are going to rank every single Titan in the game from worst to best. And this is after the big update rebalance that happened like a week or two ago, which really changed a lot of the Titan landscape. And an important note is some Titans are good at like one thing, but this is overall. So like pushing forward, brawling, sniping, and beacon running. So starting at number 14 is maybe this is or isn't a surprise, the Ao Ming robot. So the Ao Ming was one of the first Titans to come into the game. Remember the Ao Ming, the Arthur, and the Kid Titan came into the game at the same time. And the biggest problem with the Ao Ming is it's a huge intimidating robot, but its size is actually a disadvantage because the hitbox is so big, it has not much durability, and pretty much zero defense. Its only defense mechanism is its healing, which is pretty weak, but its strength is its firepower when flying. But like I said, it's pretty far from being meta. It would need some major defense systems um, to really come back into the meta whatsoever. But for now, the Yao Ming stays at number 14. Number 13 is the Kid Titan. Some of these Titan rankings the rankings are pretty close together, and the Kid Titan is one of those. So Kid at number 13, the biggest problem with the Kid is it has good durability, but it's so annoying not being able to use all of its weapons all the time. You have to use the full action ability, which is extremely annoying, but on the bright side, the Kid has good durability, and the stovetop ability is really effective as well. And when you're using all the weapons, it has good firepower, but not all the time. Um... The kid, for it to become meta, it would need, I don't even know, some serious, some more defense probably in terms of resistance, as well as being able to use all the weapons all the time. So that brings us to the next, and you'll notice this one might be a bit surprising, but I'm placing the Ether at number 12. So the Ether, just like six months ago, this thing was like the best Titan in the game and the mighty have fallen. And the reason I'm putting the Ether so low is because a couple updates back, Pixonic really nerfed the force field on the Ether. So the Ether in the sky, it used to be indestructible, and now it's not even indestructible in the sky. The Vigor ability is kind of mid, like it's a bit of a boost of speed and healing, but like I said, it used to be indestructible in the sky, but Pixonic nerfed down the force field. So even when an Ether or an enemy Ether is flying, you can actually take down the Ether a good amount of the time shooting at it in the sky. And before, that was pretty much impossible. And you might be surprised how low I have the Ether on the rankings. But I honestly, I spent a while on these rankings. And I thought to myself, I'm like, man, I don't think the Ether especially on the ground it's so vulnerable to attacks and the cooldown has been increased of the ability and number 12 i think it's pretty deserving so next up at number 11 we have the arthur so the arthur i'm putting above the ether simply the whole point of the arthur being at number 11 is because of the physical shield the physical shield is the strength of the arthur robot and it just so happens that a lot of meta weapons right now in the game can't go through physical shields like the sonic weapons like the fogger tonins the arthur physical shield serves as a really good counter and the blast wave ability is decent the shield's good durability is decent it could use a bit more durability um but overall it's a decent brawler i wouldn't say to consistently run an arthur in like champion league but in the lower leagues i definitely wouldn't fight against somebody trying to use an arthur we even take down a newton there which definitely happened so then at number 10, the Muramits. So the Muramits has a slight lead over the Arthur because of the EMP and built-in rockets. Um, the Muramits, like a lot of other Titans, used to be the meta of the game, but over the course of time, it's been nerfed down a lot and is no longer, I'd say, a meta Muramits or a meta Titan. Um, a couple months back, you, if you remember, I used the Muramits to counter Rook robots, and that still is true. You can counter Rooks, but the freeze rockets have been nerfed. And the Muramits itself, when you're not flying, you're very vulnerable on the ground as it does not have a lot of HP. Speed is decent, but it lacks in a lot of different areas. And I'm putting it just above the Arthur. So next up, number nine, the Nodens Titan. So this one I'm dropping in the rankings. And you, if you're wondering why, on the rebalance, the Nodens was untouched. But some other Titans got improved, which I think pushes down the Nodens in rankings. So, of course, the Nodens is the original healing robot of the game. And overall, it's still a decent Titan. Like, it's another one of those Titans where I wouldn't be like, oh, it's complete garbage. Like, the Ao Ming is complete garbage. But the Nodens isn't complete garbage. Decent firepower. This suppression is 
decent and the healing being able to heal what is it 500 meters away teammates is decent as well but other titans just overperform in a lot of different areas including like the serious titan which we'll get to but that's where i put the note in for now then we have the minos the minos is also dropped on my list just because the minos is really only effective when you have that reflector going the reflector is pretty much undefeated it's so effective at defending incoming attacks but firepower isn't that great it's all right speed's decent durability's pretty low so when the minos isn't using its reflector i feel like it's kind of a sitting duck and that's why it's not super low on the list but not super high if it had a reflector more often it could be like the best robot in the game but it doesn't so i feel like this is kind of a reasonable spot to put it so note i put it above the nodens which i think is accurate and above the ether arthur kid etc so then next up at number seven maybe this is surprising i mean maybe a lot of this list is surprising i don't know next up at number seven we have this serious titan so this serious received a massive buff over the update rebalance and this is why it's so much higher on the list before before the update i probably would have put it at like number 10 but now it has way more durability and also improved turret i think one of them like is it heals faster and or shoots out faster so i think the sirius is actually a better support titan than the nodens now and that's why the nodens dropped and the sirius improved and for best builds i'd probably say for most of these builds it's going to be sonic weapons freeze rockets either one works pretty well on the serious titan so serious moves up then we have the sharanga number six the sharanga was untouched over the rebalance um it hasn't weakened but the sonic weapons have weakened which actually does affect the sharanga a little bit um and what can i say the sharanga is still the number one titan or number one robot in the game in terms of firepower it has unmatched firepower so that's always going to make it a little bit relevant in the game even if everything else is terrible um but i think number six is pretty reasonable spot it has potential like the sky is the limit for the potential of the robot it can wipe out any titan in seconds but it can also die pretty fast if you get ambushed without your exile ability going then at number five the heimdall the heimdall received triple buffs over the rebalance and we made a video on this and it was a pretty big deal so i'm putting the heimdall as high as number five maybe some of you will disagree but the strength of the heimdall isn't a as a support robot i don't think it's as, its healing ability is some amazing thing that will you know lift up your whole team but its brawling ability is actually pretty decent the suppression grenade combined with the firepower the physical shield and now the increased damage and like i said the heimdall received three separate buffs over the rebounds and i think that puts it deservingly into the number five spot then at number four the indra so the indra is moving up because the indra is one of the only meta titans that wasn't rebalanced and because of some other robots getting nerfed it actually makes the indra stronger because you know when everything else gets nerfed and the indra stays the same it actually improves the indra's performance um, relative to the other titans like i said a lot of these robots like the indra the energy shotguns work well freeze rockets sonic weapons i still think the sonic shotguns for the titans are the best titan weapons in the game but you got to get close to really deal good effective damage and yeah the indra is very good at countering newtons too because you can hit your phase shift ability on the newton and they can the snipers can go straight through you then the newtons the newton actually dropped because the newton is actually pretty decent at everything it's a decent brawler it's a very good sniper with the fulgur tonins but the fulgur tonins got nerfed 10 to and 15 percent so the snipers are less effective but at the same time you're not going to really run down beacons with the newton i know i've done that in the past using brawling builds on the newton but the newton is best at sniping so if we were only ranking titans based on one thing you can go oh the newton's like the best sniper so it's the best titan not exactly i feel like you kind of want i'm saying if you have one titan available not multiple hangar decks what you want to run the newton's still so good because of those snipers the fogger tonins are really effective but it's not the best titan in the game in my opinion then the rook the rook arguably could still be number one of the game i feel like one and two rankings are very similar but the rook did receive three separate nerfs on the rebounds including um longer cooldowns for the shield regeneration and the just the actual appearance of the shields 
And then the physical shield durability got nerfed like 15% as well. So definitely, Pixonic definitely softened it up a bit. By no means is it like out of the meta piece of garbage. Um, but I do think it slipped to the number two spot. And before, it was pretty confidently the number one Titan in the game. But then that brings us to the number one. I mean, maybe I spoiled it yesterday with our gameplay, but it is the one and only Luchador Titan. And maybe this is controversial because Rook and Luchador are very close. But doing everything, jumping to beacons, brawling, even sniping, I think the Luchador is the best Titan in the game. It's the best Titan at doing everything. The Newton, it's a great sniper, not great at brawling or running down beacons. Rook, similar to Luchador, but just, I think, a little bit worse after the rebounds. The Luchador get, did get slightly, slightly nerfed after the rebounds, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference where you're like, oh, I'm not going to run the Luchador because it was really only a couple seconds, even though the ultimate defense got buffed. It's kind of weird, but that's the full list. So let me know what you guys agree or disagree with. Maybe this is a controversial list. Maybe not. Maybe you agree with every single ranking because I'm always right and I've never been wrong in my life. There it is. Titan rankings. Peace out. Ice cream hot dogs.